Assalamu alaikum guys this is Dr. Fatima and today we are going to discuss how we have to prepare for intermediate module examination of uh, CPSP in anesthesia. The goals of today's discussion are going to be syllabus for IMM and which books we need to study and how we have to study those books and how we have to utilize these books which are the important topics which we have to cover and how to prepare the MCQs. So stay stay tuned and we have to discuss them all today. Starting with the syllabus for IMM anesthesia. So you can, you can uh, search for your syllabus for IMM in your e-portal, CPSP e-portal. What you have to do is you just have to open your home and then you can see here we have to go uh, DME so in the DME dashboard you can see three cubes the second cube is showing workshop material and prospectus now in the workshop material and prospectus what you have to do is you just have to scroll down and when you scroll down you are here with two options in prospectus which is uh, FCPS part 2 anesthesiology and IMM anesthesiology so you have to click IMM anesthesiology and here is your syllabus for IMM what are the important topics which we have to cover in preparation of intermediate module examination guys we have to see that in anesthesia we are incomplete without three basic things which is physics physiology and pharmacology if a person claims to be an aesthetist and he has no command over these three subjects, he should not consider him to be a good anesthetist. So you have to deal with these three uh, subjects wholeheartedly, first of all. And then you have to go for regional anesthesia, general anesthesia and monitoring. <laughs> How you have to study and how you have to prepare these uh, basic, you know, subjects, we are going to discuss them in detail in the next slides. So, which books you have to read? Well, we have categorized these books in three uh, different groups. The first category is our textbooks. The second is revision books and the third is MCQ books. So, in the textbook, we have got three main books. Top of the list is Miller's Anesthesia, second one is Morgan and Mikhail's Anesthesia and third is Smith and Atkinheads. In, uh, in a bit of detail for these three books, uh, I would like to say that the main textbook for every anesthesiologist is Miller's Anesthesia in the present edition of time. Morgan and Mikhail is a good book but it's a short book. It does not cover all the basic and you know all the detailed aspects of anesthesia which we need to know as a consultant uh, in anesthesiology so miller is the one book which everyone everyone should give a read at least once in a while in his lifetime when he is doing work in anesthesiology okay but it is a long book if you have no time for miller's anesthesia you should prefer morgan anesthesia or smith anesthesia the important thing about Morgan is that uh, we uh, it's a simple simply written book but not as simply written as is Smith. You can see many uh, MCQs in uh, from the lines of Morgan in your IMM and even in your FCPS part 2. So do not forget to read Morgan and Mikhail in preparation of uh, you know IMM anesthesia. But if you really want to grab knowledge for of anesthesia, if you want to excel in anesthesia, you should give a read to Miller. Uh, about Smith, yes, Smith is a very good book, especially about pharmacology. But uh, you know, you don't have to do it uh, as a primary book. You should combine Morgan and Mikhail and Smith if you really want to do Smith. The next book is Ribian books. Uh, and in this category we have got two books. I have got at least two books and I have done these two books which are Duke's Secrets of Anesthesia and First Aid Anesthesia. The good thing about Duke's Secrets of Anesthesia is it gives you uh, small questions which you really come across uh, from your mind when you really uh, do work in anesthesia and it 
actually it covers every every question which you, you come across every day so duke secret is very good book it's a very good uh, revision book if you have done miller or morgan uh, in the textbooks and you have to revise that particular topic you should give a read to duke's anesthesia secrets the other book is first aid anesthesia you don't have to give a heed to this book but you should actually uh, give a read uh, when you are just uh, going for a revision you don't have to uh, make it a primary book because you are really you are going to lose many concepts if you just uh, just you know consider this book to be a primary book then we have got mcq books which is brian hall macro hill and lippincott mind it brian hall is the best book i have ever seen for anesthesia mcqs for uh, till now i have i have not seen any 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 good book for mcqs as brian hall the important thing about brian hall is that its explanations are excellent outstanding explanations make brian hall the best book in anesthesia mcqs books the other book is macro hill and lippincott well lippincott is a very simple book and it, its mcqs are very small uh, with a very small sentences and it's they are the, they are the easy mcqs you just go and revise uh, morgan when you uh, do the lipton court so it's a very good book and really uh, it it really helps in passing your imm the other is macro hill well i did only pharmacology from macro hill and uh, regional anesthesia from macro hill it is good but its explanations are you know they are pathetic i don't i don't understand its explanation at least but it's a good book it's its mcqs are really good now we have to discuss how we have to read these books i mean which topics we have to cover for from which book so let's begin then well you have to do pharmacology as i previously said and uh, for pharmacology the best book is uh, miller 8 or edition 9 of miller the second good book for pharmacology is smith the best thing about smith's pharmacology is simplicity it has elaborated all the concepts of phys, uh, pharmacology very simply so you, you should give a read to smith if you don't want to go go for miller and you know you don't have time uh, the best thing will be that you do smith and then you do the tables of morgan for pharmacology and next you have to revise all these pharmacology concepts from duke's anesthesia and first aid anesthesia so this is how you have to prepare your pharmacology for imm now we have got anesthesia machine uh, guys i would say do all the text do any textbook you want i mean morgan or smith or miller or any other book but as far as anesthesia machine is concerned i will not recommend any other book except anesthesia except miller's anesthesia because uh, the chapter of anesthesia workstation has been written excellently in miller uh, 7 and miller 8 or also miller 9 but you should preferably do miller 7 and miller 8 next is duke's secrets you can revise your anesthesia machine from duke secrets as well as first aid anesthesia you really uh, grab all the concepts of mcqs from these two revision books uh, as far as anesthesia workstation or anesthesia machine is concerned the other thing is first few chapters of morgan next is physics you have to cover smith uh chapters on physics and morgan chapter on physics just go and give them a read the other important thing i really want to uh say that when you have done all all the stuff uh i mean when you have just read all the textbooks and you have done mcqs even you should go and give a read to the points in the in the you know on the start of every chapter in miller as well as in morgan because i've seen there are so many mcq and important mcq points in these first pages of every chapter in miller as well as morgan so do give them a read they are very important uh, topics and they are very important you know points and uh, really uh, mind it that mcqs do come from the, those very uh, pages so don't forget to revise those first pages of every chapter in miller as well as morgan next is physiology you have to do physiology from miller or morgan but if you are uh, if you are a miller person you should uh, you should you know leave cvs chapter from miller because it is pathetically written i don't understand what they have 
uh, written in that in a very good book they have not covered all the cvs important aspects uh, so we should really go for morgan for cvs as far as cvs physiology is concerned go for morgan regional anesthesia is equally well covered in miller as well as morgan you can do any anyone uh, i mean you can go with miller or morgan any one of the, those books clinical anesthesia i mean uh, anesthesia in uh, in different specialties for example obstetric anesthesia pediatric anesthesia or you know uh, anesthesia in the patients with cardiovascular disease anesthesia in patients with renal disease or any any other you know speciality you have to cover them from any book you you really enjoy reading which can be miller or which can be morgan so these are the two books which from which you should do this particular aspect now uh, how we have to prepare mcqs okay there are two strategies some people uh, just do mcqs at the end and they just start mcq book from one end and they just finish the mcq book to till the other end i would not recommend that particular thing i would recommend that when you are doing uh, your textbook for imm preparation and you are for example uh, doing cvs physiology go uh, to the first aid and revise it go to duke's anesthesia secrets and revise it and then go to a uh, brine hall or lippincott and mcgraw-hill i mean all the three books and just give the read to the cvs anesthesia mcqs this is the best way you will prepare mcqs and anything you think that you uh, you don't understand you can always open your textbook and tally the problems briny hall explanations are very good you don't have to uh, leave briny hall reading without reading its explanations because if you read briny hall and you have not read the explanations mind it you have not read the briny hall as you should have read it because explanations are those paragraphs uh, from which many mcqs are taken for imm as well as for any other examination and important thing is that most of the mcqs in briney hall come from miller 8 the latest edition was miller 9 and now the latest edition of briney hall is i mean it has come into the market and uh, that has taken mcqs from miller 9 so if you are not doing miller uh, at least do morgan and then briney hall mcqs with its, its explanation because explanations make very good mcqs then we have lippincott lippincott is a cute uh, small mcq books uh, so you should not leave uh, lippincott and this is the particular way that you have to do mcqs if you think uh, an answer is uh, wrongly uh, interpreted by the book you should al always go to your book uh, textbook and tell your answer or ask your senior and then uh, do your mcqs so this is the best way to solve your mcqs and do not uh, make any errata or do not make if you if you are making an errata for your mcq books for example lipen code of macro hill um i would say that you are wasting your time because most of the mcq most of the mcqs i mean every mcq in these very books are unlike those mcqs which we have read in the you know uh, preparation of part 1 uh, fcps uh, they they had many uh, small mistakes in those books but these books are written and edited very well and most of the mcqs answers are correct so don't uh, go and waste your time in making errors okay thank you everyone best of luck for your imm and you can ask anything about preparation of imm uh, in on the channel and do not forget to subscribe and share the channel and this video thank you